Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update your WordPress titles and meta descriptions. So let's go ahead and open up the web browser. I'm working on this little project for a customer, so it's called Clean Coal. And up here you can see Clean Coal written here and then the strap line written next to it. So we want to write a custom page title here, which is better for search engine optimization. Um, and we want to write something custom into there. So I'm going to go to the WordPress admin here and we'll log into your, or log, I'll log into my WordPress admin. You need to log into yours. And what we'll do is go to plugins here. And inside plugins, we're going to click add new. And we're just going to type in here, Yoast, Y-O-A-S-T, Yoast. And we'll type in Yoast here and we can see Yoast SEO. And this is a free plugin. There is a paid version of it as well. Um, but we can use the free plugin to manipulate the page title and the meta description. So before, we, in fact, we'll install this, but we won't activate it. So let's just install it first. And we can see we can activate it. We're going to activate it in a moment because I want to go to settings in general. And when we go to settings in general, you see site title here, Clean Coal, and you see the tagline Expert Cleaning Company. See up here you see Clean Coal, and then you see Expert Cleaning Company, right? So we're using that's being used as the meta title for the home page here. But we want to we want to create a custom one here. So what we can do is go into our plugins, and normally you would activate these plugins. I'm just going to click activate here. So we're going to turn it on. And now the plugin is available and we'll go to pages here and we've just got one page here at the moment and we're just going to go into edit and when we go into edit i'm using divi builder to build the page um but if we scroll down here you can see there's an option to add a a page title here a custom one right so as default what, what's happening here is divi's taking the name of the page here or, or yoast is taking the name of the page here so if we refresh this let's just refresh it we can see now professional cleaning company and then we've got um the um that character like that that line character there and then we've got clean coal written after it right so what we want to do is change that so what we can do here is we can get rid of this stuff here we don't really need it here so we can just get rid of all of this and we can write our own custom title into here now so we can do something like uh london's number one professional cleaning company right so something that's a bit better in terms of uh, let's just get the spelling right something that's a bit better in terms of the um, page title for up here so if we click update and we go back to the website and refresh it now we can see London's number one cleaning company right written across here at the top and we could put clean coal at the end if we want you can actually click here and then go insert variable and we can do site title or separate or tagline so if we did um uh let's say site title then we'll get the clean coal written at the end can you see and normally what i do is use the till key so it's the shift and right next to the shift key on the left hand side next to the z key if you hold down the shift and press that key you'll get this like this downwards line and then click update we go back here and refresh it and now we'll see the company name written at the end so it's always good to have um the description first or what the what the keywords are and then the company name towards the end so if you were to go to my website dcpweb.co.uk you can see web designers website design london website designers and then dcp written right at the end of it this is my new website if you haven't seen it yet go and check it out I'm starting to add more blog posts into here. I've got some tools running here as well. So go and check out my free tools that I've built recently and check out my portfolio. You can see a lot of web work that I've done for my customers. But let's get back to this project and we want to update the meta description. So for now, I'm just going to take this, this piece of text here. I'm going to right click and copy it, go back into the editor and we're going to paste in the meta description here. So here we see a meta description, right? We can see the meta description here and we're just going to go down and click update. And then we'll go back here and refresh it. And you don't really see the meta description. The meta description is in the source code. So if we press Control and U, inside the source code here, we should see the meta description written right here. So above you see the title, and underneath it you'll see the meta description. Yeah. So here you see the title, and here you see the meta description. So when the search engine uh, looks at this page, it will take that as the page title, and then the meta description is written underneath the search engine results. So if we go to Google and type in something like dcpweb.co.uk, hit enter, this is the meta description written on my page here, right? 
and this is the page title. Now, Google sometimes will create its own page titles. So if, it's, if it knows of a company or something like that, it might go and create its own page title. So this isn't exactly my page title, uh, but if we were to just do site dcpweb.co.uk, now you can see the page title here, and you can see the meta description underneath. And these are all the different pages that I've created for my website, right? So that's how you go about updating the page title. And you can apply that to different types of content. You can apply it to blog posts and you can apply it to all the different pages on your website, right? So it's not just secluded to page content. You can also do the same logic against blog posts, uh, projects, if you have projects running in your system as well. So that's how you go about updating the page title and the meta description for your blog, uh, for your WordPress blog or your WordPress website, it's important to do this because when the search engines look at your page, you don't just want to write homepage here. Many times I see in websites something like this. So if I was to take this title and just call it home and then go down to here, a lot of the time you'll see things like home written here and then update, right? And if we go back to here, you'll see like home written here and then the company name that's really bad for seo so don't do that make sure that you update your page titles that reflect the types of things that you're doing in your business so this isn't the perfect page title uh, typically i'll probably put maybe like east london or, or some geographic specific location for a cleaning company but just demonstrating how this works it's worth uh, having a bit of an understanding so i'll be going through some more um elements of Yoast SEO and how you can use that to help your, your business optimize your pages for search engines. But for now, if we just refresh this, this is how you go about updating your page title and your uh, meta descriptions for your website. Let's go ahead and minimize this. If you'd like to learn more about WordPress, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be making a lot more WordPress related tutorials for now. Um, We'll focus on some of the basic aspects of WordPress, but in the future, I want to start to show you how to build full blown websites um, using different various plugins and tools uh, available for WordPress. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.